everybody. Today is our second day. How exciting is this? Well, thank you for coming back. Today we are switching our languages. Yesterday we were all in Spanish, and today we are going to do more of a Spanglish than English. But Brad, uh, see, there goes my Spanglish again. <laughs> so we're going to be doing it everything in English today. Um, this today, I am very, very honored to have Adrian and all of his team down in, in Ecuador that they're going to present to us their lovely and beautiful country. You have no idea how beautiful Ecuador is. And they're going to tell us today why we should go down there and invest in their country. It is a beautiful country. The weather goes from the coast all the way up to the mountains, where it's where it's very, very cold up in the Andes. So they're gonna tell us everything today about that. And to start the day, I'm going to present to you Adrian. He is the president of FNADBRE. They are the uh, kind of like the NAR to us. So Adrian, thank you for being here. Very, very, very honored to have you here. And thank you once again for your time and for everything that you have put together, you and your team for us today. All right, the microphone and the uh, the stage is all yours. Okay, so um, hi, my name is Fernanda. I'm from Ecuador, so I'm represent Fenagra today for you. I'm going to present Adrian a little history about him. So he's a realtor, a SRS, and also hold an ISO 17024 certification real estate for management. He also has 10 years in real estate activity. He's especially in second use housing and residential development project here in Cuenca and the near city here, Azogues. And right now he's a president of FENAGRE and also on Aguirre Suay, that is our local association. Also is CEO founder of Forza Real Estate and also BNS Plus Real Estate. So, well, when right now he is cursing, finalizing his study in law and he holds a degree in technological marketing and electronic commerce. So welcome Adrian, so yours. Thank you, Fernanda, hi everybody. Um, Unmute. Thank you, Fernanda. Hello, everybody. Um, um, dear Rialto, Adrian. It is an okay. honor and a pleasure to share with you this unprecedented event, the first transmission between our countries and organization. We Adrian? are making history. Adrian? Today, thanks to technology, we eliminate the distance that separates use in territory to strengthen teamwork. Global markets are not the future, are the present and the new standard of real estate. As president of Fenagre, but also as so an Ecuadorian realtor who loves and enjoys every day of his work, it's very gratifying to participate in the second day of the commercial mission. I am sure that this historic day is the only the beginning of many projects together. There are a long way to go yet. I want to express my gratitude to Mario Rubio, Gonzalo Mejia, Alex Escudero, ambassadors and directors of NAR, who were our alias from the first day of meeting us. Thanks to their support and commitment to FENAGRE and the real estate brokers of Ecuador. We have participated in actively in the events, certification and meetings established. We continue to grow. My deep gratitude to all hosts from Pinelas and Florida Realtors, their Cindy, Corina, Anna, your dedication and passion, they have used Connect today in the first trade mission. Similarly, I wish to thank our members from Abir Guayas, Loja, and Azuay, and especially to its executives and collaborators. 
to your embedded, embedded panelists who took and the challenge of participating in this very important project for Ecuador. The information that will be shared this afternoon is a brief summary of what Ecuador can offer, not only in the real estate offering, also in culture, history, quality, and warm of these people. We hope to prom promote the business opportunity and strengthen the work between realtors. The, result, the results will be soon. We are just beginning. A fraternal huge to all, all who have gathered this afternoon, showing that the barriers exist only in the minds of those who look at them. The world has changed and we must be part of this new era of global integration. There are no impossible dreams, but weak minds. Welcome. Sorry, my English is not so good, but it's a pleasure for me today. Your English is perfect. It is an honor to have you here today. Okay, now uh, we have a, a few words from the president of Pinella, Cindy Hayden. Hayden, sorry. Okay, and that, let me just go ahead and get her video done. Let me share my screen real quick. And of course, I'm the one that is late, but that's okay. All right, so. We're going to well, it's not working. So give me a second. Let me just pull it up in here. Hello, I'm Cindy Hayden, the president of the Pinellas Realtor Organization. All right, how do I share the screen again? I'm gonna share it right here. Okay. And Hello, I'm Cindy Hayes. Can you hear the, the sound? Remember to share it through, the, you have to share the computer sound. Okay, give me a uh, second. Hello, I'm Cindy Hayden, the president of the Pinellas Realtor Organization and the Central Pasco Realtor Organization. And I'm excited about our partnership with Ecuador and the commitment we've shown to work together to advance all of our associations and help our members expand their international business. Real estate is such a fragmented industry, so it's important to understand all economic and cultural aspects of both our countries. We are excited to get to know you and your customs, and I hope you share that sentiment about us. We signed a memorandum of understanding together, which helped open the doors to this trade mission. The National Association of Realtors has named our area one of the top 10 performing markets in America for the next three to five years. And we are ready and excited to work with investors from Ecuador who are looking for properties and business opportunities. Thank you for being here with an open mind, and we look forward to fostering productive business relationships and friendships with you. All right, that was our president, and uh, she is, hold on, let me close this. Hold on, I don't know what's going on. Okay. All right, Fernanda, you're okay. next. Yes, thank you. So now we are pleased to have uh, Gonzalo Mejia with us today. Yeah, so he's the ambassador for NIR uh, for Ecuador. So welcome, Gonzalo. Hola, Fernanda. Hola, Adrián. A todos los amigos en Ecuador. Welcome, everybody. Uh, such a pleasure to be here with y'all. Uh, like Fernanda say, I'm Gonzalo Mejia. I am the NAR Global Ambassador uh, to Ecuador. And I can tell you, uh, last year I have 
the great opportunity of visiting Ecuador. Um, I went to Quito, I went to Cuenca, I went to uh, Guayaquil, and it was such an amazing, beautiful experience. Um, I have been to Ecuador in the past, but this time I had the chance to go and travel so much more and see different parts. And it is just amazing because you can go from the mountains in Quito to the beautiful Cuenca and all its history to the coast and the, uh, and the ocean in, in Guayaquil. It's just, you can have it all in just one country. Uh, I was very, I felt very welcome while I was in Ecuador. Um, a Fenagre is a great ally of NAR and of course also of our Pinellas Realtor Organization. Uh, I can tell you that we have several Realtor members who are members also of Fenagre, which is important because as we look to do business together, we want to be sure that we work with other professionals like us. So Adrian is, is an example of prof professionalism. Uh, so it's Georgie that I see there. They are Realtor members. Also, many of them participated in our SRS des uh, designation class uh, last month as a seller's representative specialist, and they earned the uh, designation. So they are more than well prepared uh, to assist any customers who you have that might be willing to go to Ecuador. I know this year we were hoping that we were going to go together down there. Uh, and well, we know that this is definitely not the year when we're, when we're going to be traveling. But I'm so looking forward to the next opportunity we have. I hope we have an amazing group of people uh, willing to visit Ecuador as soon as we can. Trust me, you are not gonna regret it. Also, I will suggest you that once we set up the dates for our live freight mission down to Ecuador, you get some extra few days at least and stay in the country, visit a little more. There is so much to see. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So I uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for your interest in Ecuador. Um, I am lo your liaison between NAR and Penacre. So if I can be of assistance, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, thank you, Pinellas Realtor Organization for putting this event together. Uh, Pinellas, as you know, it is the uh, ambassador association for Ecuador and they are an example of an ambassador association. I mean, their efforts to really put this work to create and build this relationship is really, is really an example. Uh, it, I hope all our ambassador associations follow the lead of Pinellas and keep doing events like this one. But again, I'm here for y'all. If I can be of assistant, please reach out to me. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias a todos. It's been a pleasure. Let's enjoy the rest of the day. Okay, thank you, Gonzalo. It's nice to at least hear you. <laughs> okay, so now we have uh, Maria Grulich, a global director from Florida Realtors. We have a video, right, Anna? Some... Um, no, she's not present, so we can go ahead and skip her for now. Okay. Okay. okay no, no, no problem. Okay, so now we have a presentation about Ecuador. So we want to to us, Gonzalo said, you know, so look for uh, the things we can offer you here in, in our country. So first, and we have uh, Monica Leon right now. She's going to talk about uh, Ecuador, you know, some important um, highlights and some general facts about our country. So let me just share the presentation for you. And then we have um, uh, English video so you can, take a look a better look so let me one second and share in you know the screen you see what do you get the next hello everyone I'm very happy to participate in this uh, meeting today. And I'm going to talk to you about some very few facts about Ecuador. Um, I hope you, um, you can have a little idea of uh, what our beautiful country offers. Ecuador is located in South America. Our capital 
city is Quito. The population of Ecuador is more than uh, 17 million. The, la the labor uh, force is of 9,300,000 people. The income per capita is of 6,300 US dollars. And the GDP of 134,400,000 US dollars. There are four regions in Ecuador, the coast with nine states, with an average climate of 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The highlands with 10 states, with an average of 65 degrees Fahrenheit. The Amazon with six states, with an average of 100 Fahrenheit. And the Galapagos Islands, which is considered uh, one state, but it's got more than 100, but it's got one, more than 120 large and small islands with an average climate of 100 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Every region is different from the other. Ecuador offers four amazing worlds every one of them with an incredible diversity of landscapes, fauna, plant life, marine life, climate, gastronomy, entertainment, history, sports, and more. In 2019, Ecuador registered almost 1.4 billion uh, million tourists. The city of Quito, the Galapagos Islands, the Sangay National Park, Cuenca's downtown, Ingapirca, have been declared as cultural heritage of mankind by UNESCO due to their amazing characteristics. Almost every city of Ecuador offers beautiful handmade handicraft, typical and delicious dishes, and a great diversity of cultures. The official, official language of Ecuador is Spanish, but there are actually 14 ancestral languages. You can find also 13 ancestral indigenous cultures. Some of them offer the visitors the chance to experience the rituals, such as the intiraimi, the limpias to clean your body. Ecuador is a unique experience that every visitor will be satisfied to live. We have in Cuenca 8,000 um, expats living here. So we hope you come to visit us and stay. Thank you. So, okay, thank you so much, Monica. So right now we are going to share with you um, a video from the Minister of Tourism. All you need is Ecuador. Te está convirtiendo? Este es una joya rarísima, todavía guardada, toda escondida. Every time I come here, it's something new, and exciting, and wonderful. La sensación para ti de hoy, que ahora puedo ir a trabajar duro para ver el contenido por semana otra vez. No tiene audio.
Pero es que tendría que salir y se va a ver. Well, I think the, uh, just the variety between the Andes all the way down to the Amazon, the cloud forest in between, and then you've got the Galapagos and the coast as well. It's just uh, such a variety of spectacular places all in one country that I, I didn't want to miss it. It opens your eyes a lot to new experiences and a new way of life. And it, it gives you something to, to bring back with you. No somos nosotros del sistema. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so I, I hope you enjoy some the, the video about Ecuador and then you the next year that we can travel again. So the first the first place you want to go with is Ecuador. <laughs> okay, so well right now we are going to introduce um, some start the legal part of this presentation. Okay. So now we have the doctor. Maite Duran. She was born in Ecuador and moved to the United States as a teenager, where she attended and graduated high school and college. After successfully career in real estate and finance, she returned to Ecuador to be closer to her family. Maite began working in a company in Cuenca that offers location and services and quickly became their visa specialist. Recognizing the growing need for a services that not only specialize in visas, but also deliver the labor of customer services, the expat expat might have found gringo visas. She opened her Cuenca headquarters with a multilingual team, including legal consulting. In Quito, Ecuador, the Ecuadorian capital, she started her own business with the staff immigration and also open a new office here in Cuenca. And also she has an office in Connecticut in US. Since 2010, she has successfully pursued all types of visas and legal documents for a thousand of expats around the world. So welcome to Dr. Maite Duran. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for having me here. I will do um, in a small presentation about visas to Ecuador. And um, I will start with a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so Gringo visas. We have been um, helping expats obtain their visas for 10 years. We have in the, our office two immigration attorneys and um, people to do the translation of the documents. We process visas for all around Ecuador. This is Quito, Cuenca, Guayaquil, Machala, Coracachi, Manta. Our main office is located in Cuenca and we also have an office in the US that is in Connecticut. For a tourist visa, most countries are allowed to enter the country with a free visa. It's a 90 day visa given upon arrival. A valid passport for minimum of six months is required. Health insurance is not required at the time of entry. A return plane ticket is required if you're entering the country as a tourist. For temporary residency, a two year temporary residency visa. We have a pension or a retire visa it requires a minimum monthly income of $400. This is a very good news because it used to be 800. Now it's 400. For a professional degree, um, a professional visa, a master's, PhD, or a bachelor's. 
Uh, we also have a different visa category, a rentier, where a rental income is um, allows you to get a visa. The minimum is four hundred dollars. This is very simple. Basically, if you own a property overseas and you collect the rental income for four hundred dollars a month, you qualify for a visa. We do it using a rental agreement. For the investment visa, an investment of forty thousand is required in a property or in a CD, which is in a bank account in Ecuador. In order to become a permanent resident, you will first need to apply for a two-year temporary visa, during which time you can leave the country for up to 90 days, except for the investment visa. With the investment visa, you can leave the country without time restrictions. After 21 months of having a temporary resident visa, you can apply for a permanent residency visa. For every residency visa, you are required to present two, kind of, two kinds of background checks. One is the FBI report and the other one is the state police report. After obtaining your visa, you must obtain health insurance in Ecuador. After the visa is granted, you can apply for the cedula, which is your Ecuadorian ID. Again, health insurance is necessary. If you marry, you will need your marriage certificate. The birth certificate is optional. You don't need to have it. All of the documents to apply for the visa in Ecuador need to be apostille or legalized. US, for example, has an apostille. It's part of the Haya Convention. In Canada, you will need to legalize through the Ecuadorian consulate. Permanent residency visas. You can only apply for a permanent residency visa um, without doing the temporary visa, only um, if you're married to an Ecuadorian citizen or a permanent resident, close relatives of an Ecuadorian citizen. Otherwise, you can only apply for a permanent residency visa if you have uh, 21 months, the temporary visa. With a permanent residency visa, you will be allowed to leave the country for up to 180 days per year. Year number three, year number four. In year number five, you're free to travel. After three years of being a permanent resident in Ecuador, you can apply for citizenship. And by the way, the citizenship process takes about um, one year. Now, due to the pandemic, the process of obtaining apostille documents in countries like the US are taking longer than usual. That's why we recommend to start the process six to eight months before you move in target day. We can uh, apply for your visa uh, directly in Cuenca or we can have the visa issue in the US, Canada, Europe. We recommend you obtain your visa before coming to Ecuador. That way, when you enter the country, you have your visa in your hands. If you have any questions, contact us. My email is maite at gringovisas.com. Um, we have a US phone number and we also have WhatsApp. Thank you for having me here. Uh, mucho gusto, un placer. Thank you so much, Maite, for this important information for the US citizens that want to move and relocate to here to in Ecuador. So it's important to know the type of financing that we can access when we invest abroad. We welcome now to Maria Fernanda Cuello. She's a representative of private banking investment and credit offer. She has a bachelor degree in business administration as well as she completed CDA English language proficiency certification. And she's been working at Banco Pichincha, one of the most big, bigger banks in, in Ecuador for the past three years. And she worked in the banking sector for more than 11 years. Currently, she works at Banco Pichincha Real Estate Department Division, and she's leader among the, the Ecuador financial institution. The best part of it, the best part of her job is uh, she says she has the opportunity to help the people to uh, accomplish their dreams. So welcome right now, Maria Fernanda. And let me just share the screen for her presentation. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Fernanda Cuella. 
I am working right now in Banco Pichincha. Banco Pichincha is the biggest. <laughs> Um, bank of Pichincha is the biggest bank in Ecuador. In the last uh, years, Bank of Pichincha received a lot of uh, recognizements of all international countries about um, the, the recognizement is about the biggest bank. Banco Pichincha had about 260 branch in Ecuador, and we have additional branches in Miami, Spain, Colombia, and Peru. Um, like I said before, in the last years, different international media have recognized the bank as the best in the country. Um, we work a lot with foreign people and Banco Pichincha give the opportunity to, uh, to make your life easier and like if you are in your country. For us, it's important to make feel all our clients like, um, like they are living in their city. For this, Banco Pichincha is improving all the products and we are going to talk about some of the some of these products we have here. First, I'm going to talk about a savings account. We have um, two different types of savings accounts. You can program your savings on the normal savings account, and we have uh, the, the checking account too. If you want to open an account here, you need to know that all you can do is uh, open with an initial deposit, uh, you can review your account on the internet on on your cell phone. You can pay without a debit card because uh, Bank of Pichincha have a lot of apps that that give you the opportunity to go wherever you want without the debit card. Only with your cell phone. You can pay your bills from water, light, or electricity with automatic debit, and you receive interest monthly. The document we need uh, for opening an account here is the passport, two personal letters, and a bill for phone, life, or worry. But this is important uh, if you are making the, the process of getting your cedula here in Ecuador. The bank, Pichincha, is not close to open the account for people that doesn't have the cedula because we understand that it takes a, a time to you for do this this tramit. If you want, we can give you a savings accounts programmer where you um, select the date of the month where you want to debit your account and you can pay it and keeping your money better for you. We have um, different options of investment here and it's important to note for you that Banco Pichincha here in Ecuador is the biggest bank in Ecuador and gives you the opportunity and gives you the security of your money. Uh, in Banco Pichincha, if you invest in Banco Pichincha, the money of your account is keeping um, right and you are not going to lose any of the money you have here. Um, a difference from the country, Banco Pichincha works with um, own capital that, that permits the bank to pay you and work with the money. Banco Pichincha gives the offers to, to, to give the money in, in different places and you can put a CD here in the bank. If you put a CD in the bank, you can uh, give them the interest or the rate uh, monthly, three monthly, or you can pay before uh, the finish or at the finish of the, your CD. We can pay you, uh, the pay of the right depends on the money you have, the time you put the money and how long you are going to take this. 
right now I'm going to talk about a uh, real estate business because I'm working here in this area right now. We know that buying a, a house is an important decision you are going to make. That is the reason of the bank offers the, poly the following financing options. First, the, the bank offers um, the credit for buy your own house, and then the, the bank offers the credit for buy um, vacational house if you want. We finance the 7% of the commercial value of the appraisal. The term of the credit is up to the 20 years if you want, and if you have the, uh, the opportunity to pay, you can pay before, and the rate we have is the 895%. Um, for this important to know that the commercial value is not that always the, com the commercial you make with the person who's, who sells the house. Maybe it's better, better times is most uh, up to the, to the value. The interest we have here in the rate is in the in Ecuador is the better we have. Um, it's important to know that Banco Pichinche is the biggest bank in Ecuador, and it is a very competitive rate we have right now. Um, that is all I have to do. If you want to, to know anything about all the process, I'm going to give you my information, my content information. Um, and it's important to, to for you that isn't here to know that always you need to make um, your business houses, your houses business here in Ecuador with persons that are qualified for this. And for this, maybe you need to take um, important information for these the persons we are talking here. Thank you. Remember that if anyone has any questions, please feel free to Anna, ask. So we have, uh, right now, maybe we, before we start the project, you know, the, the project that we have especially for you, for the three th cities, maybe we can have a run of, you know, questions as an answer. Maybe, you know, the people has questions. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great point. So let's go ahead and ask questions uh, either regarding Ecuador or your visas or the lending, please feel free to do them on the chat or on the Q&A box. And also please feel free to write in your uh, contact information and then mingle among each other on the chat app box. Fernanda, I don't see anyone asking questions, so feel free to continue. We'll keep an eye on them. Oh, Ms. Grill Miller raised her hand. Ms. Grill, could you please write your, your question on the chat box? In the meantime, Fernanda, you can go ahead and continue. Okay, great. So now let me um, start with. Okay. So, okay, next we have the presentation about why a kill, you know, better known as the Pearl of Pacific. We start with Wendy Franco. She's, I'm sorry, I think there's a question right now. Yes, the question will be for the lady that did the, um, the, the bank. Um, she, it says, with that high interest rate, is there a reach to invest in the USA? I know that in the United States, the rate of the houses a credit is about 1% or 2%. Here in Ecuador is uh, one of the important parts of the economy. 
and the rates we have here in Ecuador is going to 10% or 11%, and the bank is the lowest rate we have it right now is the 95%. We have all other types of credits for other people, but this is about a 4.87%, but this is not for a foreign people, it's only for Ecuadorian people. It is a new product from our government, but right now um, it's for economic, we have that rate in Ecuador, is the rate of maybe for 8% to 10% in, in their houses. It's, it's different here, I, I understand, but if you compare our rates for our investment, it's bigger than we, ha we have in the United States. There's also a question, she says, um, for commercial, you still need 20 to 30 percent down payment. Um, it's not difficult to get to get out money from United States from here from Ecuador. Um, Banco Pichincha have a, a working with banks in United States like America Bank and Chase Bank, and it's very easy to have your money. It's, it's better if you make a transfer from Banco. Pichincha to other bank uh, to make for another companies that give you the money here. Um, and we don't have any commercial debt. Um, and she wants to know- The bank there... only um, have the cost for $150 if the, if the, the, the month is a million, but maybe for another month is a uh, $15 uh, that the bank assumed to the customer here. And maybe if it, they decide how to pay the interest, maybe right now you can pay the interest in the persons who send the money and the persons who receive or only the persons who send or only the person who receive it. We don't have any problem with this. Okay, there's one more question. Is it a penalty for paying the, the loan for, for paying off your house sooner or there is no penalty? Um, no, if you if you have the money, you can pay the the credit before you have. The bank doesn't have any problems for this. Uh, maybe at the first week, send the money from a, a time that give you the opportunity to pay uh, monthly and not complicate your economy in in the month. But if you want, you can pay the credit maybe in one year, five years, it doesn't matter. It's, the bank is open to this. Okay, thank you so much. All right, Fernanda, you can go ahead and continue. Okay, maybe, maybe some other question. I don't have any more questions right now. Okay. Okay, so let's continue with Wendy from Guayaquil. Okay, she is executive with experience in um, marketing services and operation, also innovation and development products. She's administrating right now uh, some big project actually in Guayaquil, the real estate insurance and hotel and banking in, in, is the same in Guayaquil, with a focus of development of commercial team generation of optimization, increase in comes, process improvements, negotiations, brand positioning, and impact of customer satisfaction, a board member of mentor and innovation projects. So right now, Wendy Franco, we are, uh, you're welcome um, to. Hi, how are you? Uh, hi, I will show two projects that are now uh, carried out and sold along, please. We know we need to show the video. Yes, okay, just um, sharing. Okay, give me one second, sharing the video, okay? Okay, our first first project is Caribou. Uh, it's from Pronovis. Pronovis is part of, of the real estate unit of the Novis Consortium, a company Nanda. committed. So, sorry, Wendy. Este, Fernanda, nosotros manejamos el, el, 
la presentación desde acá, te lo agradecería mucho. Ya, eh, por favor, si le pueden ampliar porque solo se ve el listado, no el video. Sí, no te preocupes, ya era, era para decirte eso. Gracias, Wendy, disculpa. Ok. Va a presentar primero Karina. So. Okay. okay, this is Caribou. This is from Pronovis. Pronovis is part of the real estate unit of the Novis Consortium, a company committed to innovation, creativity, and development in the country, achieving mm -hmm. our 22 years successful urban projects in several cities of Ecuador, hospitals, uh, hotels, office towers, housing buildings, entertainment, um, restaurants, among others. We seek to promote a responsible vision, always prioritizing the experience of the human being who live and develop oh in this I'm space. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad you answered the phone. How we bow. Oh, oh, oh. Is the <laughs> microphone. <laughs> oh, I got two, I got two cases. Okay. Caribao, who's okay. not with attribute to the economy. Oh, no, right? I, in absolutely. In Engabao, is I'm located on the road to Engabao near Playas in the Guayas province, a few kilometers from the city of Guayaquil. Crystal Lagoons is a multinational company with a trajectory of uh, 17 years, which has developed and patented an innovative technology with allows some constructions and maintenance of a large crystal uh, crystalline lagoons. So uh, we can we can see the uh, the crystal lagoon. This is a very big project, uh, and the first building is Arawa, who is the first apartment tower in Caribao, which is developed a um, 17 stories, elegant and wide resection body. Uh, for a state of the art elevators and covered parking slots for its elegant two and three bedroom uh, apartments. All apartments have largest terrace overlooking the lagoon or on the sea. Less than an hour west from Guayaquil on the high west connects Playas and Puerto Gabao, you will get to Caribao Urban Complex the urban project late area at great real estate development and tourists because this is a uh, have um, an excellent climate a uh, biodiversity in flora and, fa and fauna uh, biodiversity uh, uh, and in, this is very interesting for the all the people This is Caribao Playa, residential estate uh, that is a very fascinating and unique project on the widest coast formed by uh, 30, 78 lots uh, distributed in groups which will enjoy the beach with the best landscape uh, social areas such as their clubhouse and pool uh, near the beach. And the other project is Sold alone. This is alone. Uh, this is this project is named uh, Sold alone. Is beach recognized nationally and internationally for its large and beautiful beaches. At one of the most beautiful in Ecuador, just two hours from Guayaquil. The project is located in a lawn uh, at kilometer 50 on a spondylus road, just four minutes from Salinas and five minutes from Montañita. We have a very beautiful view of the mountains, valley and the sea. The principal characteristics and advantage of this project is the exclusivity with only 32 lots in a total area of uh, 50,000 square meters beautiful view of the seas, valley, and mountains, and we have almost uh, 800 square meters green areas. 
large social area, sunset terrace. Pools for children and adults, parks and playgrounds, pergola for events, beach, tennis, and volleyball, um, volleyball courts. Harmony is its design and architecture with a beautiful Mediterranean style. Um, obviously, a 24 seven uh, hour security with closed circuit eagle eyes and transportation from your home to the nearest beach in just four minutes in a large golf car. This is sold alone, so you can you can see all my explanation. It's in Spanish, but I, I have been, I have talked about all the amenities. This is a really very beautiful, uh, a really beautiful project and we have a prices that start in 75,000 for, uh, for each lot. We have the Sunson Terrace. There was, um, this is the, the playground for a uh, area for kids, children. This is, this, these are all the houses, uh, the townhouses that uh, you can uh, build as you want, but uh, obviously you need to, you need to, you, you have to, to make that models of houses. And there is sold alone organization. I don't know if you have any questions. Both projects are in the coast uh, of Ecuador. Uh, we have very beautiful beaches. So uh, as you know, uh, many international people comes here to live. So we can continue with Janet, <laughs> who uh, will explain us about our coast. Okay, thank you, Wendy. So let me introduce you, Janet Aguirre Mosquera. She's a realtor and CRS. Uh, she's a president and founder of real estate, Janet Aguirre. She is right now an active partner or um, Agbir Guayas and Finagre, active partner or NIR. NAR, sorry, active partner or um, CRS, a current member of Agbir uh, um, Guayas, and also is part of the, uh, the board of directors in, in Guayaquil. The beginning of her working life uh, was in banking area in, in 29. She was contacted by a real estate agency from the city of Guayaquil to work at real estate advisor for their project. So finding the real passion in real estate. She has been in real estate sector for more than 11 years and is an active member of the association of uh, WIAS and also FENAGRE. During this time, she has uh, participated in several international events and uh, also our realtors uh, events like uh, the convention in Orlando and also Miami. So please welcome to Janet. Eh, Fernanda, Janet nos va a presentar un video, así que vamos a ponerlo porque ya no pudo estar presente. Nos acompaña en video. Hello, my name is Janet Aguirre. I am Realtor CRS from Ecuador. My country, Ecuador, is a beautiful destination for live or vacation. Uh, today, we present a magical tropical paradise called General Villamil Playas. Do you want to know we who love me? How to get to the beautiful place? 
This beach is located one hour from Guayaquil. beach you can find Central Park with its church, restaurants, pubs, coffee shops, shopping malls, supermarket, pharmacy, cinemas, hospitals, schools, spa, banks, and more. Your people are friendly. The cost of living on this beach is very cheap. For example, the monthly expenses of weather, electricity, internet, cell phone, and supermarket could be $801,000. A medical attention between $20 and $40. food are seafood, fish, lobster crabs. All entertainment centers, restaurants, parks and other centers of interesting have a meeting point on the new Malecon. General Villamil Playas is a new and remodeled Malecon. The new pier has a food court, a space for theater, commercial areas, pedestrian paths, solar panels, and springs. On this beach, you can perform horseback riding, boat rides, sand games, or just enjoy the sun. And for the rescues, we have a special place called the Faro, where a lot of surfing is practiced. Want to have a glass of wine? It is no problem. Dos Hemisferios is a local wine grower. Considered the second best climbing in the world, General Villamil Playa is a beautiful tropical destination to live or vacation next to the Pacific Ocean. Do you want to leave paradise? Welcome to General Villamil Playa from Ecuador. Okay, so Anna, um, I think we have a question. There was one question. It said that the, te lo voy a leer en inglés. Los impuestos son los mismos para la ciudad de Guayaquil y las zonas de la playa. So the taxes are the same for Guayaquil and the, uh, and the, and the coastline. Yes, yes, are the same uh, the taxes in Guayaquil. Yes. And are there any other taxes? Uh, no, no, we don't have another, another taxes. Okay. Sounds good. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so now we are going to continue uh, with another city. A very important city in Ecuador. This is located in uh, the south of the Ecuador in the highlands. Uh, the name is Loja. And right now we have some welcoming words from the president of the Loja's Association. Good afternoon, uh, my name is Paulina Guerra. I am the president in association of the Operative Space Project of Loja. We would like to thank the Marriott Initiative, which is calling the representative Federica Grand Rodriguez Serrano for showing our strength through this project and providing the week without information that contrast to the size to get in the content. We would like to share with you the following video we will be the day plan present the city of Loja and why she should visit us. Paulina. 
Okay. ¿Te puedes acercar más al micrófono, por favor? Que es que no te, casi no se te escucha. ¿Está bien ahí, tal vez? ¿Tienes otro micrófono? Eh, Fernanda, ¿podría más bien darle paso en este caso a Claudia de pronto? Porque estoy teniendo problemas con mi retorno. Claro, ya le doy paso. And in the meantime, there is one more question. Are there any restrictions for international buyers to buy property right on the beach? Ms. Wendy, maybe you can answer this question. Hi. No. It, there is no restrictions? No, there's no restrictions. Okay, sounds good. Thank yes. you so much. I have answered in the chat. Oh, I see it now. Yes. <laughs> okay. Paulina, you ready? Hablo un poquito más alto. Yo creo que así se. Eh, sí, me escuchan ahí. Paulina, Paulina, discúlpame que te interrumpa. Eh, como están con, de, con problemas de audio, vamos a darle paso a su, su Murillo, ¿ok? So we're going to, to first uh, talk with Su Murillo. She's a president of the association of Guayas. So please, uh, Su, you're welcome. Hi, good afternoon. I am Sumurillo, uh, Agri Guayas president and our office at, is located in Guayaquil city. Our beautiful city is the most populated in Ecuador, being the economic capital. We have the largest port for loading and unloading ships in Ecuador. Our airport has been awarded has one of the best for its service in Latin America. Our region has warm climate like its people. We have protective forests and natural parks located very close to the beach and its entry and the inter coast, two hours from the mountain and direct flight to the wonderful Galapagos Island. Guayaquil is now, is now the developer of the Pacific. Its history begins in the Cerro del Carmen and Santana, and its traditional colonial neighborhood known as Las Peñas. We have a large board wall at the foot of the Guayas River, being one of the largest and the most beautiful in Latin America. We hope to have your valuable presence so that you can personally know the pictures and diverse infrastructure that the city of Guayaquil offers. Thank you, welcome and enjoy. Thank you so much. So for your, your welcoming words to Guayaquil, so yeah. As, as we saw- my, the... my English is not very good. <laughs> Same day, Adrian. <laughs> as, as we saw the presentation about Ecuador, Guayaquil is located the south of Ecuador, but in the coast. So the weather is, is, is wet and it's, it's warm. <laughs> so maybe maybe 70, more 80 every Fahrenheit, so it's a really nice because it's really close to the to the beach. So you are welcome to visit Guayaquil. Okay, so now we are going to try with Loja. Okay, so maybe we go to Paulina. Are you ready for your presentation, or I I just put a video first. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to share a video, okay, from Loja. 
So you have an idea about this, the cities in the highlands. So the weather is kind of, you know, it's different. We have a lot of weathers here in Ecuador in the same place. So now let me just share the screen so you can watch the video. Fernando, no sé si tengo ahí el sonido correcto. No. Ahora vamos a transmitir el video, Paulina, ¿ok? Sí, vamos por a favor, el video. Por damos paso al video y de paso me eh, vendría Claudia. De paso, me da el video. ¿Se escucha bien desde mi, desde mi computadora? Porque si no, para conectarme desde mi teléfono, es que es posible. Donita, por favor, pásale a tu tío. Okay, so we can start the, the presentation. Good afternoon. Can you hear me well or should I try to connect to my phone? If the audio is not good through my cell phone, so I can so, so now. The audio was good in there. Maybe now? That, that's yeah. perfect. Yes, that is perfect. Okay, so I am going to start with a brief uh, background of the association in Loja. If you don't mind, um, was uh, here in Loja, as in the big cities, is an increase in demand for housing, and therefore a group of professionals, um, entrepreneur, visionary entrepreneurs, 11 of them in collaboration with the National Federation of Real Estate of Brokers of Ecuador, based in Asuay, approved the Approved the, sorry, just a second. Approved the, just a moment. Okay, they um, approved the professional training course for the real estate brokers on October 8. So in the, that same year, those entrepreneurs decided to organize themselves to form the Association of Real Estate Brokers of, of Loja. So reach, the, this association reached their legal life in April of 1999 with a minister, ministerial agreement. And from this date, the, the real estate brokers in the city and province of Loja began its activities with 11 founding partners and the presidency of the economist Jose Caraguay Medina with the purpose of promoting the 
organization in reinforcement and defense of the real estate activity encouraging trade union and endorse training of its associates. Um, so um, just to finish uh, this brief uh, historical review of the association, they in the year of 2000, the, uh, with legal status, organized their first course of the training professional straight estate brokers and then over time the association has given several courses in order to train people who wish to enter this area. Thus up to the present date the association of real estate brokers of Loja has granted 160 licenses to those who, who have chosen this profession. It should be noted that the real estate brokerage in our environment is carried out by professional brokers legally authorized by the association who must annually renew their accreditation to act in strict compliance with the, with the law. Uh, now to describe a little bit about um, our city. Loja is city is the capital of the province, uh, the Loja province. It is located in the south of the country and share borders with the provinces of Zamora Chinchipe and El Oro and, and with Peru in the south. The city has a projected population of about 200,000 uh, to 2020, according to the last national census in 2010. The province of Loja is made up of 16 cantons from which the respective urban and rural parishes are derived. So Loja has a mild and young climate, generally warm, during the days and colder and often wetter at night. The average temperature is 61 Fahrenheit, where this Fahrenheit. Um, the city of Loja has a pleasant climate with a moderate rainfall and the average humidity is of 78%. Loja is considered one of the best cities to live in Ecuador this according to the study carried out about the national magazine ECHOS and, and the real estate offer variety of very interesting regards to houses, apartments and farms and borders valued between 50,000 to 200,000 dollars. In recent times, the growth of the population in the city of Loja has intensified and uh, this just has generated a substantial increase in the demand for housing that generates uh, several proposals and offers. Loja is also known as the Ciudad Castellana as it revolves in its Spanish colonial roots and Catholic traditions. It is home to the second oldest university in Ecuador and has a vibrant center, center with many well-preserved historic buildings and a rich cultural heritage. Among the centers of tourist attractions, the cathedrals throughout the city of Loja stand out, the valleys and the beautiful landscapes fill the province with charm. The Vilcabamba rural, rural parish, located in the south of uh, east of the city of Loja, uh, is popular because its habitants have hung an excellent average of lifespan. Uh, tourists came looking to find and have the benefits of this longevity. longevity. Uh, more than half of the residents are foreigners, foreigners in this uh, Vilcabamba parish. Um, similarly, the parish of Malacatos is a valley that is among the most beautiful places in terms of like landscapes and flora with a tropical climate and its place for recreation and vacation. It has an excellent, excellent hotel infrastructure and natural span, natural spans, spas. Yeah, finally, the Catamayo Canton has a privileged tropical climate and a very extensive tourist infrastructure. Uh, it's the second and most, imp most important city uh, in the province and an economic and industrial center. It's, it, it's fabulous story, tourist complexes and summer resorts uh, stand out. Um, in terms of the transportation, uh, streets are laid out in a grid system, um, as well as in the rest of Ecuador are named after uh, notable Ecuadorians and city founding dates. Um, the public walkways frame the two rivers and 
provide easy access to the north and the south of throughout the city. There are several bo bus line, lines running in the city and also many taxis. There is a bus station at the north and end of the city with routes connecting the rest of the Ecuador and, and into Peru. Loja is uh, served by uh, Catamayo and we have a connection with the airport of Catamayo that is 30 kilometers away. And from there it's possi possible to fly to Quito or Guayaquil. The real estate sector takes center stage in the construction of houses, project, uh, um, housing projects committed to satisfy the needs of the clients, where the performance of the real uh, estate uh, business is part of, the, of a plan structure. Um, also, it's very important to mention that the real estate sector has also been strengthened by the negotiations that emerged from Bajicabamba, Malacatos, and Catamayo, productive, se productive sectors that have generated a lot of expectations in the real estate business. Throughout the following video, we want to, uh, to give you a small sample of the real estate offer that you can find in our city and in its made cantons. So I will ask you please to to present the video. Yes, okay, I'm, I'm going to share my screen and present the video.
and welcome to Hacienda San Joaquin and the Valley of Longevity. Cabamba is such a unique place. Um, it's probably unlike any other town in the world, um, both for the type of people, the types of people that it attracts, but also just kind of its story and what it is. So Vilcabamba is known as the Valley of Longevity. Um, it has this mythical mountain protector called Mandango that, you know, supposedly uh, ancient indigenous people went up there to heal and people there's all kinds of stories about what goes on you know up there you know I don't think you could find a better climate anywhere on the planet um, it's never cold it's never hot in Fahrenheit your daily highs are usually in the 70s often upper 70s um, a very cold day would be upper 60s a very hot day would be mid 80s um, so it's you know it's just an exceptional year-round climate um, also just its location, so it's very close to Podocarpus, which is a massive national park. Um, the air and weather actually come out of there as well, so the, you know, that sort of contributes to the quality of the air and, and water. Uh, 
when we when we were looking at where to put this project, uh, Vilcabamba jumped out to us, you know, as a place that would support something like this. And as we were thinking about, you know, where should it be and what it should look like and all, all those kinds of things, um, the location really was perfect for what we were looking for. Um, it's out of town, so you're you're a three and a half to four minute drive to town from from the property itself. Um, but you're still close, so you're out of the fray. You're not going to get any of the noise or the party noise or any of that sort of stuff. Um, but you're, you know, again, you're a three to four minute drive to town. The land itself is uh, really serves what we were trying to create as well, which is, um, you know, which is a great property itself is completely flat. So if you're looking, you maybe you're elderly, or you know, if you're just looking for a comfortable piece of land, you know, we're here in the mountains in Ecuador. Panamá, este proyecto eh, me gusta mucho y ha cambiado mucho mi perspectiva de, de ver las cosas. Eh, aquí estamos acumulando experiencias. Jesse es, ya tiene experiencia en Ecuador como inmobiliario siete años y yo como constructor diez años. Entonces unimos esas experiencias del equipo de él y mi equipo, nos reunimos, vimos el proyecto y nos encantó porque era perfecto. Es un lugar privilegiado, no, no sabemos, yo quería ver tal vez cosas que no estaban bien del proyecto, pero eran perfectos. Hicimos estudios de suelo, hicimos estudios de, de agua, eh, la cercanía al pueblo es increíble. Una de las cosas muy importantes para nosotros fue la parte de inversión. ¿Por qué es importante invertir en Cucanamá? Nosotros hicimos todo el análisis financiero de este proyecto, y realmente es un proyecto único y privilegiado. No hay nada como Cucanamá en el sector. Eh, por la cercanía al pueblo, por su topografía, por las vistas. Tenemos una vista de 360 grados eh, de las montañas. Es una vista preciosa. Y también hicimos un análisis de proyecto para que sea muy bajo el mantenimiento. Para que la gente que invierte en Cucanamá no tenga que gastar mucho en mantenimiento, para que no existan los problemas que existen en otras comunidades cercanas ahí, de que son unas cuotas de mantenimiento muy altas. Entonces, nuestro modelo es muy sencillo, muy funcional. Para, eh, hemos también hecho muy baja la, la, el porcentaje de vías para que el mantenimiento no sea alto, justamente. Um, the whole property is going to be secure. We have a nice entrance gate uh, that's in process that will allow uh, access, but only to those uh, who are permitted to be there. Um, some of the other benefits, you know, we really didn't want to get into HOA, HOAs and infighting and boards and voting and all that sort of stuff. So there won't be an HOA. There is a maintenance fee. Uh, we're going to keep that fee extremely low just to cover literally just the costs of maintenance. Um, of the property. Uh, privacy was another thing that we felt was important, so we've done a lot of work and a lot of planning to keep the lots private from one another, keep the road as well private from the lots. Um, you know, we put an emphasis on the way things look and sort of aesthetic appeal, so a lot of this, a lot of planning has gone into the aesthetics of, of both the entrance and the roads and the, the space between the lots and the common space, etc. Um, there's a beautiful reception area where there's going to be a small bar and, a, and a, like a lap pool uh, and some s almost spa-like facilities like a steam room um, and that's just a great place that allow people to gather when they're maybe hosting some family people can come use the pool you know have a beer um, and relax but it's 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 low-key um, the other thing um, you know that I think really stands out to me about the about the project um, the electric system will be in-house the water system is in-house the security is in-house so it's a way uh, it's a way you know where you know that all of those things are taken care of locally uh, you don't have to worry about water going out or there being you know there being issues uh, like that again we have the backup water system Este proyecto realmente nos tiene emocionados a todos los que estamos eh, participando de este proyecto porque es un proyecto en que, en que nosotros queremos vivir. Eh, nosotros, eh, 
los, los socios ya quieren también tener su, su propiedad ahí, eh, yo voy a construir ahí, quiero vivir en ese lugar porque es fantástico, realmente no nos hemos encontrado con propiedades que tengan tantos beneficios como este. Este Inmobiliaria, los mejores precios, la mejor atención, tu empresa amiga. Cuando tú pienses comprar, cuando tú pienses vender, Geco Real Estate, tú debes llamar. Cuando tú pienses comprar, cuando tú pienses vender, Geco Real Estate, tú debes llamar. Nuestra experiencia y profesionalismo nos permite que compres tu casa sin sorpresas ni dolores de cabeza. Esto y más en GQ Inmobiliaria. GQ Real Estate Inmobiliaria. Los mejores precios. Tu empresa amiga. Al momento de comprar, vender o rentar, lotes, casa, finca, departamento, condominio, quintas vacacionales. No te dejes engañar. Confía en los profesionales. Ubícanos en la avenida Isidro Ayora entre 10 de agosto y 1 de mayo. Teléfono 2676-161. Celular 09. 90, 13, 13, 12, triple W, GQ, Real Estate S. Com. Okay, so the Association of the Real Estate Brokers of Loja would like to appreciate to thank your kind uh, attention. No, without first endorsing our commitment to present you with trained professionals capable, capable of managing your investments, and we will be very happy to receive you. Thank you so much for, for the video, it was amazing. I didn't know about <laughs> those properties actually in Loja. So uh, Paulina, maybe you're, uh, you're your computer is better, so we can just listen your speech. Hola, Fernanda. Disculpe, no le estoy conectando, no le escucho muy bien. Le preguntaba si, si está con su audio ya bien para poder escuchar su, su discurso o... ¿O oh, sigue sí, el audio un poco malo? Sí, realmente estoy teniendo problemas. No sé si ahí usted me escucha. Sí, se escucha un poco mejor, sí. Bueno, realmente el inglés es un poco, no es tan perfecto como de nuestra representante, pero lo que quería era más bien eh, saludar. Eh, my name is Paulina Cueva. I am president of the Association of Real State Brokers of Loja. We would like to thank the Magres Initiative with the following representative, CDR Adrián Rodriguez Serrano, for showing all strength of this project and providing with with valuable information, thanks can help to decide to invest in a good content. We would like to share with you the following video with which we try present the city of Loja and why you should visit us. Esta era más o menos una uh, introducción en cuanto a nuestra ciudad y presentar a nuestra ciudad a nivel general. Um, y luego el video final que trataba un poco, aunque es un poco extenso, trataba de resumir todo lo que tenemos en nuestra ciudad eh, como destinos importantes eh, que se han presentado al mundo, como es Malacatos, Vilcabamba y Catamá. Las puertas abiertas de nuestra ciudad quedan para usted. Thank you so much, Paulina. So maybe we have questions from the from the people that are watching us about Loja or or anything. Yep. Yeah. 
No, Fernanda, there is no. Sorry about that. Okay. There's no questions at this moment. Okay, thank you. So, well, now, uh, thank you so much, Paulina, uh, for your presentation uh, of Loja. So, welcome to, to visit Loja as well. Okay, so now we have the next presentation uh, about Cuenca. Okay, Cuenca is the third uh, largest city in, in Ecuador. We are going to present Agvira Suay, it's the Cuenca's association. So now Soledad Sevichai is going to present Cuenca. Fernanda, we're seeing the slideshow, but there is no one talking or there is no sound either. Okay, let me let me just check that. I'm so sorry. Fernanda. Sí, un segundito, estamos con un problema aquí en el audio. Cuando usted... Cuando usted comparte en pantalla, tiene que elegir, no se olvide de marcar eh, que entre con el sonido en la computadora, el video. No, no es Ajá. video, son solo fotos. Ok. Pero, pero... Um, so sorry, we are having some some difficulties here. Just give us two minutes, okay.
better known as the city of Cuenca, is located in the south of Ecuador, 35 minutes by flight from Quito. It is surrounded by mountains. Santa Ana de los Ríos de Cuenca, better known as the city of Cuenca, is located in the south of Ecuador, 35 minutes by flight from Quito. It is surrounded by mountains and its average climate is 64 Fahrenheit. It is 2,550 meters above sea level. In 1999, it was declared cultural heritage of mankind by UNESCO. Due to its historic downtown that is unique, it is full of colonial elements such as the carved wooden and broad iron balconies adorned with beautiful flowers. The stone pavers that make their way through its streets and colonial architecture with European touches and indigenous details, which will definitely make everyone fall in love. Founded by Spanish people in 1557, it preserves its imposing architecture and without a doubt, one of its greatest attractions is the colonial downtown, where you can see the most beautiful churches. The most important of is Cathedral of La Inmaculada Concepción. The municipality of the city has always tried to preserve its legacy and protect its history which is why many residential and commercial houses from the founding era have been restored, which now function as museums, schools, cafeterias, restaurants, and others. It has a great offer of houses and apartments inside and outside condominiums built under the strictest security standards with all the services and first-class finishes. In recent years, very ambitious real estate projects have been built, which have made the city of Cuenca grow, making it one of the three most important cities in the country. Very close to the city of Cuenca, 20 minutes away, is the Cajas National Park, which offers its visitors a unique experience of contact with nature, with more than 230 lagoons of glacial origin and fantastic landscapes that leave more than one captivated. Cuenca is a privileged city. It has beautiful landscapes. Without a doubt, it is a jewel in which very few are lucky enough to live and which awaits its visitors and new inhabitants with open arms. Welcome to Cuenca. Cuenca is located in the south of Ecuador. We have a lovely weather with a temperature from 70 to 75 Fahrenheit all year around. Cuenca is a Catholic city, so we have a lot of churches full of art, history, and memories. Uh, Cuenca has four rivers. Tomebamba is the most important in river. It crosses all the downtown. The transportation, you can find tranvia, buses, taxis, and also we have an airport for local flights. In the city, it's easy to walk around. We have also a line for bicycles. <coughs> Healthcare, hospital activity is important. We have a several hospital with the best technology, doctors with excellent spe specializations and good prices. Touristical places. 
Palaseo, El Cajas, Paute, Chordelet, it's a beautiful town close to Cuenca. 25 minutes from here, you will enjoy all the food and the landscape. Restaurants and entertainment. We have a lot of places to enjoy, enjoy our food. We have, we have a variety of local and international food. If you take a dinner for two people in an Italian restaurant in the spa area that includes uh, main dish, snacks, wine, and dessert, you will obtain 25 US dollars. Let's, let's talk about uh, housing. If you rent an apartment, 25 square meters furnished, and um, in an expensive area, you will spend $63.6 per month. If you, uh, you will pay uh, 61 for utilities, include electricity, gas, and, um, and water for two people. Internet is about $25 per month. Um, so welcome to Cuenca. I saw someone, you know, have the hand, maybe some question. Raise someone, raise the hand. Or oh, maybe I, I was wrong. Okay, if you don't have any questions about Cuenca, we're going to start to share the projects. So you can have an idea of the real estate here. Okay, so let me put I mean, Okay, so where, where is the question? Okay, we, we are uh, two hours and a half, three more uh, maximum for, to Guayaquil. And then from Guayaquil to maybe it's one hour and a half from the nearest beach. You have, you have public transportation, actually it's, it's really good, maybe $12 and they take you to Guayaquil and then you have to change change buses and the, the, the terrestrial terminal and then take another bus, maybe five or $8 and then take you to the, to the beach. You have the nearest is Salina, uh, Salinas and Playas are the nearest to, to Cuenca. Also, you can take a flight, but now, uh, well, we have a lot of restrictions with that. So maybe the, the best option is a private car. Okay, so now um, the first question. project that we have. Fernanda, there is one more question. The question is, what is the- I think actually it's, it's getting bigger in, in heights. And normally it's very common to people, you know, buy or build a house. I'm sorry, I think uh, there's another question. Let me just, I, I didn't see that. Yo tengo 75 mil. No, 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 I think there's another question, but I can see. So maybe Anna, you can help me with that because I just saw um, just some comments about Cuenca. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, it's a fascinating city. Thank you. But um, maybe some question, but I can see another questions. Yeah, the question. The, the one question told me. says the question is what is the average price for a two bedroom, two bath? I can hear you. I I can hear you, Anna. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, the question is, what is the average price for a two bedroom, two bathroom? 
It's and roughly uh, for sale. Okay, maybe it's seventy-five thousand. Okay. No, it's it's actually from you know from that price. And is that for a an apartment or is that for a house? For an apartment. For an apartment. Okay. Yes, and for a house, the you know the average, it's, it's a hundred a hundred and forty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. So uh, I was telling you that actually Cuenca is growing, you know, in the highs. We have a lot of projects with houses, but most actually for buildings. So I'm going to share you now both, so you can have an idea of what you, your investment here in Cuenca. So let's first start with Rocas de Misicata. Is a really big project here so just let me put the video on a dream place in the city of Cuenca discover Rocas de Misicata a residential complex with three towers that has been awarded for these characteristics that highlight the urban landscape of the city with luxury finishes, terrace with green space and balconies with privileged view of the city. Four thousand meters square of communal areas, green space, gym and play areas. Security, 24 hours and financing. Contact us for more information about this comfortable housing project. Forks Immobiliaria Real Estate. Okay, there was a, an example. So maybe we can talk some facts about uh, Rocas de Misicata, maybe the, the dimensions, the prices for, for that maybe. The prices now. Okay, from the prices from the departments we just saw, the average price is starting at 100K. Uh, to 200k. As you saw, uh, now all mostly of the buildings in Cuenca has uh, the the own uh, gym and you know for common areas are really great now. So let's put on uh, the second project we have so you can saw the difference. So we are going to see now. some landing too, because we also have, um, you know, empty lots so you can build. Okay, now I'm going to share. Your ideal home in the private urbanization Puerta de Hierro, in the most developed area of Chauyabamba. With direct access to Azogues Cuenca Highway, a kilometer and a half from the Sixto Durán Bayén Bridge. Restaurants, supermarkets, bakeries, gyms, and gas stations. all the infrastructure works, fiber optics, land ready to build. 
lots from 564 square meters. ¿Están viendo las fotos de ahí? Can you confirm, please, are you are? <clears throat> yeah, you're watching. Okay. Sí. Yeah. Okay, the project we just saw. A veces cometo errores, pero intento aprender de ellos. Puedes mandar tus comentarios. I'm so sorry. You know, the smartphone is just working by yourself. Okay. Okay. Okay, now, so the project that we saw, it's actually for, for no? No sound? Did you hear me now? Are you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm so sorry. For the project that we just saw, there's um three now, thir no, yeah. Yeah, 39 lots. Um, I already saw uh, 23, 23, and we have available 16. So actually, we're going to build a Mega Maxi, a really huge, you know, market when you can buy. Uh, for you have an idea about the prices, um, it's $200, $240 each square feet. You have lots from 1,800 square feet to 4,265 square meters. You have a private security actually 24-7. And also you have, you can, you know, build your own design. So you can, you can design your own, you know, your own um, house. You can to have a two floor house actually in those lots. Okay, so and now I'm going to see another video because we also have a really modern actually buildings here in Cuenca, some projects. They call it, the name is La Castellana. Let me just share the screen first.
This is Cuenca. Maybe do you have any questions about our city? I don't see any questions. I just see the um, the comments that says Cuenca looks beautiful and it's a fascinating city to purchase. So you guys did an excellent job. Anybody else have any other questions or any more comments? Actually, for living in Cuenca, you must need uh, maybe for one person, 1,000 per month. Um, all the included uh, for food and um, housing and everything. Uh, if you live with four people, maybe you must need 2,000 per month. In an apartment, furnished in a good area. We have a, a lovely weather. Yes, actually, if you rent an apartment close to the river, it's a little bit expensive than the other area. Uh, but we are really close from parks and the river. Um, if you get an apartment, in front of the river, you will pay 500, something like that, for initial. If you get an apartment without the view, without the river, you will pay maybe three, 3050 per month. So, Leda, there is one question. Yes. Uh, Ms. Carla Asa is asking, are there any properties for rent or to purchase overlooking the river and the parks? I told you in this moment. Um, so there are property available today? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, that looks like it's it. All right, what is next? Let's continue. Just hold on a second. Okay, so now I have the, the other video that I want to show you guys. Could it be? Let me just share this one.
Okay, so we just saw La Toscana project. We have nine um, exclusive uh, houses there. Actually, two are already sold, so we have available seven right now. So it's very important, uh, you know, the extension of this um, lot, it's 524 square uh, feet to 590 square feet. Okay, the, the, the very special thing about this project, actually you have a really, a really big uh, yard into the houses and actually it's from 180 square feet to 255 square feet. The prices are from uh, one, uh, 157K to 180K. Okay, so these are ready to, to just, you know, give you the key. <laughs> so you can just contact us, maybe the numbers there, uh, or you can contact directly so we can give you more information about the numbers you can contact this. Okay, so uh, right now, um, maybe uh, some questions again about this project or maybe some other project that you saw, maybe about Cuenca, maybe the prices for living here. So I have a question. I think you said 250 square feet or was it 200 square meters? I'm sorry, could you please repeat me the question? You said 250 square feet or did you refer us 250 square meters? 200, 200 uh, 255 squares, but you know, the yard into the house because okay, all so it's Meters. Yeah. Square meters. No, square feet. It's square feet. Yeah, actually square feet because the, the lot, you know, of the, 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 the space, it's uh, 524 square, square feet. And from there, 180, it's just, you know, a big yard. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's, you know, the, the main thing about this project because this uh, actually a really big yard into the your house. All right, anybody else have any more questions? I know that the uh, when they type in the questions, it actually comes in a little bit later. Um, so let's just give it a minute. But those projects are amazing, very, very modern, something that some of us uh, from America do not expect something to be that modern down there in, in, in our countries, down in Colombia and South America and Ecuador. So to us, it's something is very, very pleasant to see how modern those, those places can be. Okay, uh, one important thing, Anita and, and everybody um, is one detail. You can visit Cuenca Loja and Guayaquil in the same day. Probably you need no more to 10 hours for, for drive and you can visit the three cities in Ecuador. And the other important thing that is um, the very uh, different uh, pictures or, or places that you consider in your visit. Uh, we have three regions in Ecuador. You have a coast, the uh, four regions, excuse me, sorry. Uh, the coast, the Andes, um, Amazonia, and Galapagos. Uh, it's a, Ecuador is a little country, but have a very, very, very uh, big uh, things that you need to, to visit if you can, the opportunity to, are you welcome? I have a question for you. How are the roadways? Are there really good roadways, like the United States highways, or? So we uh, now. Oh. I'm so sorry. No, the, I was asking how are the roadways? Are the roadways like the highways? Are they good? Uh, uh, yes, hello. Yes, we have, uh, you have very good uh, roads, first, first rate roads mostly, and uh, all the cities are connected. Uh, we have very good ser uh, service of transport, public transportation uh, that connects all the cities in our country. 
um, some other roads are not in, for, uh, let's say, fair, first rated, but they, they are good enough to, to travel. Thank you so much. Hola, Fernanda. What is next? Okay, next uh, we're going to uh, share with you a video of, of our cultural expression. Here we have a lot of folklore. Uh, as I told you in the beginning, we have 14, 14 different, uh, 14 different uh, cultures. So, uh, so you're going to talk about I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm so sorry. So um, I was telling you, we have 14 inches culture here. So we are going to share you some, you know, for, for, for dances from these places. And so you can taste a little more <laughs> of Ecuador. So let me just share my screen with you. I'm going to put you the YouTube video right now. So you can saw.
we wanted to share with you about the, the folklore which maintains every region of the country keeps their traditions with dances and with their, their costumes. That's what we wanted to share with you. Um, from all of us, from FENACBRE and Ecuador, uh, it was a pleasure having and shared this time with you. We hope it has been useful for you and we hope you have enjoyed um, the information and the images of our gorgeous country. Please feel free to contact us for further information. Special thanks to Pinela's Association, thanks to NAR uh, for the support in this type of um, kind of meetings. And thank everyone for having taken your time to share with us this experience. Good luck. Monica, it was a pleasure to have you here with us. And it has always been a pleasure working with all of you. Fernanda, what is next on our, on our agenda? Uh, okay, I'm not, not anymore. Just thank you everyone for being here and uh, okay. hoping to see you soon. Yes, well, I know that, that's all actually uh, our program for today. We have presented you the three main cities in, well, we have left Quito because some problems uh, at the last time, but um, that's all actually that we have to for you present to this this day about Ecuador and about uh, you know the kind of life of real estate that we maintain here. So, well, thank it. you, thank you, thank you so much for all the hard work that all of you have put together, your team and all of the regions that have, that participated in this event. It is from the bottom of my heart how much I want to thank you. You guys presented your home to us. We presented our home to you with very much pride. And we are very, very happy to have you all in here. Now for some closing words, I'm going to invite real quick our president of the council. She just wants to say bye to everybody and thank everybody for being present and for having such a hard work to finally put together and be presented to everyone that attended. And here's Corina for you. Hi, everyone. I just want to uh, thank you very much for your presentation. And I have to say, I'm ready to go to Ecuador. Hopefully we can go next year. I can't wait to put together a big group of Americans. We do need to go in person. Everything that you showed sounded amazing. And uh, again, I just want to thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to working, you know, into more events and more um, projects together. Thank you. You guys have a great night. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Well, and if anybody's ready to go to Ecuador, get with me later on uh, throughout this coming year, because hopefully, and I'm praying to all the gods and everyone that is over there, that we can actually make it happen this coming year. So, and uh, a funny story my husband and I keep talking about, because today we were supposed to be all down there. And then he keeps reminding me, telling me, you know, we were supposed to be down there. And I said, I know. <laughs> So, but yeah, the, the way it cannot is, is going to be amazing. In one year, we're, we were hoping to be down there with all of you guys. And then hopefully one day where we can make it happen to invite all of you to come here to United States and to visit our area in person. Yeah, that's, that's the goal. You know, <laughs> next yeah. year, the first, the first thing came to Ecuador and they can go to Florida. Absolutely. Adrian, now that you're back online, I want to thank you personally for everything that you and your team did. And there is absolutely no words to show you all my gratitude. So thank you very much. Thank you for everything that you have done for, for us and to help a, every and everybody in, involved in here. Muchísimas gracias, Anita, Corina, Su, Paulina. Mónica, todos quienes han compartido esta tarde, hablo en español ahora. Eh, quedamos muy agradecidos de haber compartido con ustedes, sobre todo por el tiempo y el trabajo que han dedicado, que a pesar de que ha sido corto, 
eh, hemos hecho lo, lo mejor posible. Estamos seguros que será una experiencia eh, única, que marcará un, el principio de, de una relación de camaradería, de negocios entre nuestras instituciones y sobre todo como directivos y miembros de, de una organización de carácter transitorio queremos sembrar ese entusiasmo, esa predisposición para que quienes ejercemos esta maravillosa actividad que es el real estate eh, podamos sumar esfuerzos y cada día consolidar eh, negocios, oportunidades de crecimiento, compartir experiencias positivas entre cada uno de nuestros países. Desde Cuenca, desde Ecuador, un abrazo grande para ustedes. Y como dice Mario, eh, my home is your home. See you soon. Bye. Lo mismo, nosotros para the, my home is your home. Gracias, gracias, Anne. Gracias a todos. Eh, gracias. Ha sido un gusto para mí eh, desde Agrid Guayas poderlos acompañar. También lo hago en español, que es mi, el idioma que domino, de verdad. Este, siempre es un gusto esforzarnos en atenderlo. Ojalá la presentación les haya gustado. Estamos a las órdenes para cualquier inquietud que tengan posterior a esta presentación. Sí, muchísimas gracias por todas las presentaciones. Estuvieron fenomenales. Los videos estuvieron perfectos, estuvieron divinos. Muchísimas gracias por todo el esfuerzo que ustedes pusieron. Ha sido absolutamente genial. Gracias. Desde allí, desde allí, Loja, de pronto si me escuchan porque he tenido problemas con el audio, pero agradecerles infinitamente a ustedes, quedan las puertas de Loja abiertas, tenemos mucha experiencia con, con, eh, y mucha gran experiencia con extranjeros que se han quedado a vivir acá, se han vuelto más que clientes, se han vuelto amigos y eso es lo que queremos mostrarles a ustedes. Loja queda abierta para cualquier duda cualquier eh, circunstancia en la que ustedes nos necesiten. Muchas gracias. Muchísimas gracias a usted, señora. Chao con todos. Chao, que, que les vaya bien. Bye, everyone. Thank you for coming.